I am officially running for President of the United States, and we are going to make our country great again. You call women you don't like fat pigs, dogs, slobs, and disgusting animals. I have zero respect for Megyn Kelly. I don't think she's very good at what she does. I think she's highly overrated. You can see there was blood coming out of her eyes, uh, blood coming out of her wherever. I've decided not to respond. I might be the best thing that ever happened to her. I don't know, because no, whoever even heard of her before the last debate. He's already hedging his bets because he's used to buying politicians. Well, I've given him plenty of money. You're still arguing for a single payoff. I'm not, I'm not, I don't think you heard me. You're having a hard time tonight. First of all, Rand Paul shouldn't even be on this stage. He's number 11. He's got 1% in the polls. And how he got up here, there's far too many people. Anyway, short, tall, fat, ugly. My goodness, that happened in junior high. Are we not way above that? I never attacked him on his look, and believe me, there's plenty of subject matter right there. Look at that face. Would anyone vote for that? Can you imagine that, the face of our next president? I mean, she's a woman. I'm not supposed to say bad things, but really, folks, come on. Are we serious? I'm talking about her persona. I'm not talking okay. about anything else. I think women all over this country heard very clearly what Mr. Trump said. One of the worst CEOs virtually ever. She destroyed jobs. She destroyed the stock price. The company went to hell. They walked her out. She got fired. She was a disaster where she was. Now she wants to be president. I was a terrific CEO. She can't run any of my companies. How could Bush be in first place? This guy can't negotiate his way out of a paper bag. You called Mr. Trump a clown, a buffoon, Don't something bring else that cannot be repeated on television. I will build a wall between the United States and Iran and make Mexico pay for it. He's not a natural entertainer. Low energy, Jeb Bush. Low energy. Low energy. Low energy. Very low energy. You fall asleep looking at him. I the didn't want to. Is, yeah, Donald, you okay. cannot take more energy tonight. I like no. that. We said no. Wrong. A little of your Again, own medicine I, there. I, right? I, I, I know you're trying Governor to build Bush. up your energy, Please. Jeff, but it's not one, working One at a time. Well. This is a tough business oh, to yeah. run for oh, president. Oh, I know. You're a tough guy, Jeff. Like and it's President of the United States tough, by insulting yeah. your way to well, the president. Let's see. I'm at 42 and you're at 3, so Doesn't so matter. far I'm doing better. Uh, you're not going to be able to insult your way to the presidency. Donald Trump is uh, trying to insult his way to the presidency. You cannot insult your way to the presidency. Do you think <laughs> Jeb Bush is scared of you or just scared in general? I think he's scared. We don't need a weak person being president of the United States. States, okay. <laughs> Jeb wants to be, he wants to be, to be a tough guy. He wants to be a tough guy. Pretty from an elderly woman. Let me talk. Quiet. Donald Trump is a jerk. Jeb Bush. Loser. Donald Trump, you're the loser. The guy's a total stiff. He's a stiff. This is a stiff. And if he came looking for a job, he'd say, no, thank you. The next president of the United States, Jeb Bush. This guy, Lindsey Graham, so he calls me a jackass this morning. He's a jackass. He doesn't seem like a very bright guy. What's this guy, a beggar? He gave me his number, and I found the card. 202-228-0292. You know how you make America great again? Sure. Tell Donald Trump to go to hell. It's this guy, Lindsey Graham. You have a guy, he's one of the dumbest human beings I've ever seen. Let's see, what do you think of Donald Trump? Oh, oh, he went crazy. The guy is a nut job. I could push him over with a little thimble. Boom. My mom is the strongest woman I know. She should this be running. Not a two days ago, he said he would take his pants off and moon everybody. He's a junkyard dog, that's for sure. Trump's not your guy. <laughs> So Jeb is having some kind of a breakdown, I think. And, you know, look, he's an embarrassment to his family. I think it's a very sad situation that's taking place. Tonight, I am suspending my camera. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> You're the only person on the stage that's ever been fined for hiring people to work on your projects illegally. You hired some no, workers no, from Poland. No, I'm the only one on the stage that's hired people. You haven't hired anybody. <laughs> You've yeah, hired, you've hired a thousand people you've from had another nothing company, but problems from another your country. credit cards, etc. And he had to pay a million dollars or so in a judgment wrong. for her. That's it wrong. Is, that's a totally wrong. If he hadn't inherited $200 million, you know where Donald no, no, Trump no, would no. be right now? No, no, Selling no. watches in Manhattan. I, you know, I watched him melt down two weeks ago with Chris Christie. But now he's repeating himself. Talking about repeating. I watched him repeat himself five times four weeks ago. I, I saw you repeat you, yourself five it times was a five meltdown. seconds ago. I watched him. Meltdown on the stage like let's I've let's never seen anybody. Let's stay, let's I thought he came out of the swimming pool. I watched him melt down, and I'll tell you, it was one of the saddest things I've ever seen. I watched a meltdown like I have never, I've never seen anything like it. A meltdown like I've never, ever seen. He went backstage. He was having a meltdown. First, he had this little 
makeup thing applying like makeup around his mustache because he had one of those sweat mustaches. Then he asked for a full length mirror. I don't know why because the podium goes up to here. Maybe to make sure his pants weren't wet. I don't know. So I'm looking at little Marco and I say, man, there's something happening with him. And he's like melting. I think he's going to faint. We don't need a fainter. We don't need a fainter. We don't need a guy who's sweating and scared. He's not cool. He sweats too much. This guy was sweating so badly. Oh, he was sweating. It was disgusting. I have never seen a human being sweat like he sweats. He's got a problem. Sweat. Like, I have never seen anything like it. It looked like he jumped in a swimming pool with his clothing on and then came back. Thank God he has really large ears, the biggest ears I've ever seen, because they were protecting him. Did you ever see a guy sweat like Ruby? I've never seen anything like that. He says that I'm sweating all the time. He doesn't sweat because his pores are clogged from the spray tan that he uses. Donald is not going to make America great. He's going to make America orange. It's Rubio. I will never allow the conservative movement to be taken over by a con artist. The people of Florida can't stand him. He couldn't get elected dog catcher. Con artist. Dog catcher. Con artist. Dog catcher. Con artist. Dog catcher. First rate con artist. Couldn't get elected dog catcher. He's trying to con people into giving them their vote, just like he conned these people into giving them their money. This little guy has lied so much. Here we go. Trump's a con man. Trump's a con man. He's always calling me Little Marco. Little Marco. Little Marco. And I'll admit, the guy, he's taller than me. He's like 6'2", which is why I don't understand why his hands are the size of someone who's 5'2". Have you seen his hands? They're like this. And you know what they say about men with small hands? He referred to my hands. If they're small, something else must be small. I guarantee you there's no problem. I guarantee you. I hate to say this. This is humiliating here tonight. He's through it. He's not going to have any effect on the race anyway. He is a guy with a great future behind him. It's oh, different oh. when you lose a primary among your own voters, among your own party, in your own state. That's, that's just crushing. If we Republicans choose Donald Trump as our nominee, the prospects for a safe and prosperous future are greatly diminished. Isn't he a huge business success? Doesn't he know what he's talking about? No, he isn't. And no, he doesn't. A business genius, he is not. Now, Donald Trump tells us that he is very, very smart. The bullying, the greed, the showing off, the misogyny, the absurd third grade theatrics. Donald Trump is a phony, a fraud. His promises are as worthless as a degree from Trump University. I'll just address it quickly because it's irrelevant. Mitt is a failed candidate. He failed. He failed horribly. I backed him. You can see how loyal he is. He was begging for my endorsement. I could have said, Mitt, drop to your knees. He would have dropped to his knees. He supports federal taxpayer funding for Planned Parenthood. I disagree with him on that. That's a matter you of principle. And I'll, and I'll tell you. Liar. You probably are worse than Jeb Bush. You are the single biggest liar. This guy lied. Let me just tell you, this guy will say anything. Nasty guy. Now I know why he doesn't have one endorsement from any of his colleagues. He's a nasty guy. Why do you lie? Donald, why do you lie? Adults learn not to interrupt you. Why do you lie? Donald, adults learn not to interrupt you. Yeah, yeah, I know. You're in the right. Lion Ted Cruz came today. He couldn't draw a hundred people. Lion Ted Cruz. Lion Ted Cruz. Lion Ted Cruz. Lion Ted Cruz. Lion Ted. Lion Ted. Lion Ted. Lion Ted. Lion Ted. You know, I call him Lion Ted. I've heard that. L-Y-I-N apostrophe, Lion Ted. Breathe. Lion breathe, Ted. Breathe. I'm Lion Ted Cruz. I mean, the greatest liar that ever lived. He holds up the Bible. Bible held high. Bible high. Bible high. He puts it down. Puts it down. Puts it down. And then he lies. And then he lies. And then he lies. He starts lying. This guy's a liar. He's a liar. I never met a liar like him. I met a lot tougher people than him. He's like a baby compared to some of the people after him. He is like a little baby, soft, weak, little baby by comparison. But for lying, he's the best I've ever seen. One of the, the biggest liars I've ever seen in my life. Oh, he's a liar. I've never seen him. I've never seen a man lie this much. He's a liar. Ooh. Nobody likes him. He's lying to and, uh, you know, that's his name. You get along with nobody. You don't have the endorsement of one Republican senator, and you work with these people. Senator Cruz. You should be ashamed of yourself. Where was Donald? He was firing Dennis Rodman on Celebrity Apprentice. You're really getting beaten badly. I know you're embarrassed. Donald, relax. Go ahead. I'm relaxed. <laughs> you're the basket case. Go ahead. Go Donald. ahead. Don't get nervous. Mark, Go ahead. <laughs> We're the one campaign that going forward can and will beat Donald Trump. I keep hearing that he's the only one that can beat me.
but he's getting beaten very, very badly. Care that is about. not what you said in the Donald, Donald, please, I know it's hard yeah, not I know to interrupt. It is, but it's but not what you said. Cruz cannot win. He's got no highway. He's got nothing. He's way behind. I'm leading him by millions and millions of votes, and I'm leading him by four or 500 delegates. He can't win. An anti-Trump super PAC put an ad on Facebook, and it showed Melania Trump nude, and Donald Trump was furious, and he sent out a tweet to Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz then tweeted back, the pick of your wife is not from us, Donald. If you try to attack Heidi, you're more of a coward than I thought. And today, this. Donald Trump then sent out the retweet. No need to spill the beans. The images are worth a thousand words. I don't get angry often, but you mess with my wife, you mess with my kids, that'll do it every time. Donald, you're a sniveling coward and leave Heidi the hell alone. I'm gonna beat you. His father was with Lee Harvey Oswald prior to Oswald being, uh, you know, shot. I mean, the whole thing is ridiculous. What, what, what is this right prior to his being shot? And nobody even brings it up. I mean, they don't even talk about that. That was reported. Uh, and nobody talks about it, but I think it's horrible. Donald Trump alleges that my dad was involved in assassinating JFK. This is nuts. This is not a reasonable position. This is just kooky. This man is a pathological liar. He doesn't know the difference between truth and lies. He lies practically every word that comes out of his mouth in a pattern that I think is straight out of a psychology textbook. The man ca cannot tell the truth, but he combines it with being a narcissist. A narcissist at a level I don't think this country's ever seen. The man is utterly amoral. If morality does not exist for you. Vote your conscience. Vote for candidates up and down the ticket who you trust to defend our freedom. You hear the boos uh, for Ted Cruz over there. Uh, people are pretty much disappointed. They did not hear a robust endorsement of Donald Trump. I am not in the habit of supporting people who attack my wife and attack my father. Fatality. Hi, this is Ted Cruz calling. Uh, I was calling to encourage you to come out and vote on election day. Uh, this election is critical to the direction of our country, and I urge you to come out and support freedom, the Constitution, and the Bill of Rights. Uh, you can vote by absentee ballot, and if you need help getting an application for an absentee ballot, the Republican Party of Texas can help you with that. Or you can vote in person, but I just wanted to encourage you to come out and vote. Thank you, and God bless you. <laughs>